<clears throat> I uh, have mom's deaf blind old dog that I'm watching and like I say I leave her on the floor instead of putting her on the couch and she's wandering around the kitchen and the tripod while I usually leave it at mom's because that's where I use it the most uh, it's usually in a corner away from things and I've had it moving around in the uh, right in the path basically or off to the side of the path in the kitchen and she keeps running into it and trying to figure out what it is um, she can smell she actually smells very well but she's keeps running into it and she's not happy I've just stirred this again there is a little bit of fat uh, but not a lot I'm not sure about the uh, sourdough bagels. I actually just had to go find the recipe again. I use the Microsoft print to PDF uh, option a lot when I'm looking up recipes and then I can just go back and look at them real quick, decide if I want to make them, if I want to keep them, if I want to try them or just get rid of them. A uh, couple issues with that. It prints the ads over the content and the sourdough recipe that I just was going to get uh, had the first four uh, instructions uh, covered over with ads uh, on the PDF. Uh, another <clears throat> sorry I was in the pantry and doesn't do well to talk from another room. Um, another odd thing is I really, I'm using my mouse and the mouse will, and I really, honestly, do not like the way that Adobe scrolls. It won't scroll and show parts of two pages. It has to put the whole page go from the bottom of one page to the top of the next page. And when you've got instructions on two pages, it's just a pain in the butt. <clears throat> I almost said it, but I didn't. Uh, I'm going to feed my sourdough. I'm just using all-purpose flour. Uh, I'm just going to put an ounce of each in it and give it a good stir. It doesn't really matter uh, how much I put in as long as I put equal amounts. Uh, I just, the, it, get, it can grow really, you can end up with a lot of sourdough really quick uh, feeding it daily, even if all you're doing is feeding it an ounce, which is what I've got here, or 28 grams because like I said I prefer the gram scale the accuracy on the gram scale a lot more than the ounce still over by 10 grams just need to get myself a shot glass so I have a better measure I was actually at Walmart yesterday I'm going to leave that a little high on the water and I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit more flour to bring it up to 30 grams. Oh. <clears throat> just because it's easier than taking off a gram of water. Uh, I was at Walmart yesterday. I was actually something and I was looking for something in the kitchen uh, kitchen gadget section I guess and I didn't find what I was looking for particularly I mean I found something but not exactly what I wanted and it's kind of just a I'd like to have it but I don't need it uh, and I don't think that it would actually work for the way I want to use it anyway at least not at this point. Um, 
but they actually had uh, shot glasses there with the measuring marked on the side for liquid measure. Uh, I didn't look at them real close. Uh, I still have an issue with the fact that they make all these wonderful glass measuring and they paint them. Um, I really, really, really love this one of Mom's. Let's see if you can see it. it. has the embossed measurements. And Mom can actually fill these and use these. This was a long dead relatives. I don't know whose. Grandma, great grandma, great great grandma. Someone's. Well, no, it's probably not that old. Uh, probably something from the 1940s or 50s or I don't know. Um, I do need to use this sourdough and I may still uh, use that recipe. It just kind of uh, upset me the print to PDF and the fact that Adobe wants to scroll. You can't without doing it with your finger on the touch screen or using the scroll bar on the side you can't see the bottom of one page and the top of the other because Adobe thinks you need to have either the top of the page or the bottom of the page well not everybody wants that Adobe put fix your scroll option oh and another thing on that scroll option uh, the uh, oh geez oh the scroll is really slow I mean I have the scroll set that I get three per turn on my scroll wheel on the mouse and here I am trying to scroll with a two page document in Adobe and I can just hear the mouse wheel clicking and it's not moving another issue to fix Adobe okay we got the sourdough starter fed I may still make something with it it is active it's a healthy sourdough I'm just not sure if I'm going to think I'm going to take a break. If I were still a smoker, I'd be out with my pipe. Uh, however, I'm not. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know, find something to eat. It's 1040. I can do food probably. Uh, we'll see how the day goes. I may continue cooking. I do have to do the bread still. That's going to take till this evening. The soup is cooking. Uh, it's not real hot uh, being in the crock pot. I'm going to leave the lid cracked still. It is on high. It is gaining heat. It's just doing it slowly, which is okay with me. I actually just stuck my finger in and tasted it licked my finger after I did that. It's got really good ham flavor, but I can also taste uh, the onion at least. And I think I can taste the carrot and maybe the celery already. This will actually be better tomorrow, but mom has an issue with doing beans on any day after Thursday, and it's already Friday, because you can't go to church if you had beans on Saturday. Um, but this will actually be better tomorrow or even Sunday, but I'm going to get it done today and can always reheat it. Uh, that's a wonderful thing about soup. It's always better the next day and you can always warm it up to try it the next day. This is just kind of a side thing. I picked these up, uh, I think a year and a half ago. Uh, for Christmas for mom and her husband and I I got one for everyone it's a little uh, cookie skillet the thing is is that the recipe calls for uh, one small egg and I'm going okay buy a small egg to you know like half a dozen or something to make these up because there are three of them 
And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So what I ended up doing was I went and did an online search. And it's amazing because it doesn't have it on uh, IncredibleEdible.org or whatever the egg organization website is. I found this on Wikipedia. And it tells how many is the minimum grams for each size. Larger 56.7, smaller 42.5. It's 2.24, and it goes on forever. Uh, large eggs will make a small egg. Or I can just weigh it. But this is something I am planning to do. I've been planning to do it for a long time. It actually says to wash the pan in soap and water, uh, dry it, oil it, and then do it. Mom actually has uh, mom has cast iron, and so she has these two camp chef. One's the conditioner, and one's the cleaner. Uh, the, it, but you can use any oil. Uh, but these, actually this cleaner works really well and the conditioner is good if you have to actually do the heavy cleaning. They're both basically just oils uh, together, but those are, those are some nice things. Uh, and I may use those, but I will do soap and water when I do these. I'm not going to do them quite yet, but I will have to get the pans out, clean them, do the whole thing before I do it. That's just one of the things that I've got going because that's something I wanna I'd like to try um, the soups on the breads working on its first rise it's risen it's got a little bit of rise on it uh, it was uh, I don't know about two-thirds that size it It'll raise out and touch the whole outside of the bowl there. Uh, and then I'll put it on a pan or in a pan or something after it has. Uh, then it'll raise again. And then I'll put it uh, in the oven and bake it. should be ready by about, uh, by about 5 to 9. Uh, that's uh, something else. The bagel recipe, I think it said it only took 5 or 6 hours. Uh, Alan, to do that, I ended up having to highlight and do the print selection instead of doing the just printing the page uh, with the Microsoft Print PDF. Just a footnote on that. Um, I oh, I may do that. I'll, I'm not sure yet. I still haven't decided. Just for a footnote, I want to make the bagels. Uh, I also actually think it would be a really easy recipe to change for soft pretzels. I found other recipes for soft pretzels, but they use baking soda or baking powder or yeast or, and I don't want to use, I don't mind using the soda and the baking powder. I'd prefer not to, however, with sourdough. Um, but I really do want to make the bagels. Mom says, oh, they're such a pain. You've got to boil them first. But you only boil them for like a minute. So it's really not a big deal. The recipe makes a dozen. If I can get two or three in a pan, it's only going to take four to six minutes to boil them before I bake them. I don't see that being a huge deal. But it may not happen today. I really do want to make them, though. I like bagels. And I would love to make a cheese bagel, incorporate some cheese in the dough uh, while I'm making it, uh, some shredded cheese. Uh, maybe sprinkle some on top. They all seem to use an egg wash or an egg white wash uh, on the bagel so the cheese would stick really well with the egg wash. I don't know. It's just something I want to try. I was just... Uh, thinking about my dream kitchen how I would have if I had my choice of kitchen it would probably be a lot like a commercial kitchen but well I, then I took mom's dog out because she was just wandering and my dog's out in mom's yard and I got out there and I was thinking about other things uh, 
one was spraying weeds. Uh, one was not spraying weeds because of what the animals. Then it came to having chickens and rabbits. And then I want to be somewhere remote. So when you have those chickens and rabbits, <coughs> pardon me, um, you've got to have uh, some way to keep them safe. And I was thinking, well, you have the chickens and rabbits and you throw a pig in because a pig is one of the best watchdogs there is out there. And that got me thinking about uh, something that I heard when I was, oh, preteen, teenager, about taking a wiener pig and you dig a hole that's eight by eight by eight feet and you put the wiener pig down in it with a bucket, a couple of buckets, one for water, one for food, and you have the buckets on a rope so that you can pull them out. And you feed it, and as you, uh, you throw the dirt back in to cover up over the effluent from the pig. And by the time the pig can get out of the hole, it's probably big enough to butcher, uh, although a wiener pig's about ah, three months old, and pigs are usually actually big enough to butcher at about six. It I don't know that it would, eh, yeah, the pig, it would probably fill the hole up in about six months. But that was just something that I remember someone telling me when I was, like I said, a preteen or early teen. Uh, just some, maybe one day we'll talk about what I would be my dream kitchen. I would love to design one. I wish I could, uh, I don't know, web, uh, Webstaurant Supply Store or something like that would be just one of the things I can think of, uh, one of the places I can think of that would do and that they have. Uh, I've looked at their site, their website a lot. Uh, if I had the money, I would definitely have at least several things from them, if not a lot more. Uh, appliances, counters, uh, glasses, cookware, uh, all kinds of stuff. I so. But mom's dog's back at the door. Uh, I'm going to clean up her kitchen a little bit. She did pasta the other day, and I've been finding pasta sauce everywhere. Just wipe some off the overhead counter up there. Right there on this overhead counter. Uh, she's having sight issues, so I don't mind helping her out. And... I can't stand stuff like that, so I do it, and I just do everything. But Mom will have a clean kitchen, or at least parts of it will be clean, wherever I find that. And I'm going to go get her dog in, and we'll play more later. It's 10 after 11, and I'm finally getting around to making myself something to eat. Mom had uh, just the end of a loaf of store-bought French bread. So I'm going to have that. Normally the cheese I'd slice and put on with the peanut butter and jelly. Uh, I've also got a mandarin and a kiwi. Normally it would be one or the other, but I'm doing both right now. I'm hungry. Uh, this is actually a cinnamon apple jelly that mom and I made. And it was in a bowl. This was the skim or what didn't fit in the jars. or I, There was a lot, so it's probably what didn't fit in the jars from when we made that. So I'm going to have a little bit of bread with peanut butter and jelly, some cheese and some fruit, and probably get just grab some water. I might grab some almond milk. I'm not sure. Um, this is fairly typical for me in terms of a meal. Uh, I do eat a lot of bread. That's probably why I have my belly. Um, I also eat a lot of cheese. I don't eat much meat. I have a belief that meat should be the flavor, not the co main course. Uh, Asian cooking, Hispanic cooking, most other ethnic cooking uses a lot less meat. This 
soup that I'm making uh, right there. See? Tripod corner. Um, this soup that I'm making, it's using the juice from when mom cooked the ham, but it's not actually, doesn't actually have any meat in it. I don't think I'm going to put any meat in it. Uh, it has good flavor, and that's what we need. We don't need the meat. Um, but I'm going to sit down and eat my meal, and we'll get back to everything else later. I just talked to mom. I called. They're at an appointment getting the car done. Um, and I just talked to them and asked them how they were doing on the time. And she said that they just came out and said that it would be done pretty quick. And if I can find... Oh, jeez. Where is it, mom? Well, she's got this meat thermometer I'm going to use. I can't find her other one. I'm just curious what the temperature of this soup is because it's not really cooking real fast. It hasn't even gone up to uh, 130. Yeah, it's it's only about 120 degrees. It, everything went in cold except for the onions and the uh, Oh wow, there's an old one. Not the one I was looking for, but... Um, everything went in cold, so for an hour and a half in a slow cooker, that's actually not bad uh, for the temperature. I'm going to actually wash this one up. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know where it came from. Probably my grandma's. Uh, looks... It looks blue, the the temperature thing, so I doubt it's mercury, but I'm going to wash it up and test the temperature with it. Well, I washed up this old glass thermometer. It actually went up to about 90 degrees when I had it under the hot water, and then I was like, oh, I guess I probably ought to use a rag instead of just letting that run under hot water. It's over 125 almost to 130 oh 135 140 you can see the blue but you can't see the numbers that way or I don't know maybe you can um it's actually warmer than I thought uh it just needs more time and I've been leaving the lid off to I'm trying to get it to steam off some but I told mom not to plan on it for tonight it will be probably done, but not at 5 when uh, her husband wants to eat. It'll probably be closer to 8 or 9, which is when I would want to eat, but maybe. Uh, this is a slow cooker, not a crock pot. Even on high, this doesn't get, won't boil usually. Uh, sometimes it will, but it takes a long time to get there. Uh, she had one that would get hotter, but she got rid of it because it would actually get too hot too fast sometimes and had caused issues. Um, just since we're here, say hi to the sourdough, um, and I'm going to cut this off. My mind was just wandering. Uh, I was thinking about <clears throat> cameras and how I would love to have a camera that had zoom with the screen uh and how nice the the oh geez i can't even remember what they're called the the action cam they that everybody's uh hero five hero four i black uh silver i can't remember the name of it uh <clears throat> I looked into them and I don't like the fisheye feature that they have. They don't have any zoom. They do have a screen on the back. Uh, they have the really cool drone that you can get for it. Uh, <clears throat> the Dharma drone, I think it's called. <clears throat> really cool. Has really cool features. Doesn't have a zoom. I don't like that. And I don't like that fisheye look that it gets. <clears throat> 
Then Sony makes their little action cam, but it doesn't have a screen. You have to add the little extra thing to have a screen for it. Then it's wireless. and I just wish I could find a nice camera similar to either an old uh, micro uh, or a mini. Sorry, I have an alarm going off. A mini VHS or uh, even, uh, well, yeah, mini VHS. Something no bigger than that, really, but something that would work on a memory card instead of a tape. And something that you can put on a tripod. Uh, that's definitely a plus. I'd, I'd like, I don't know, it'd be nice to have several cameras and be able to sync them together like you can. Oh, GoPro. Uh, like you can with the GoPro. Um, but it would also be nice to have zoom, have a good quality uh, optical zoom, not a digital zoom. Um, the Sony has the Zeiss lens, which is a good thing. Uh, but it would just be nice to have something that had a little bit better battery life, a little bit better zoom quality, a little bit better audio quality. The Sony does have stereo, but um, it would just be nice to have something. Personally, I can't afford anything right now. This camera I've had for several years. I bought a couple of small action cameras when I started my channel and come to find out that this camera, wave to the people, um, actually does better, has better audio, has better video. Those were only $30 and one was actually given to me as a gift. And the memory card I'm actually, from those I'm actually using in this camera and the my phone and I do on occasion although I usually forget that it has a camera use the camera on the phone uh, and I have a spare that I keep in my pocket in my pants pocket so if I'm traveling this camera waving to the people again and that memory card even though it's smaller only half the size is usually in my it's in my pocket and the camera is usually in my other pocket so I can have the availability should something strike me as interesting. Thanks for watching. Perhaps cooking. Feel free to share, give me a thumbs up, or subscribe.